Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libra. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment, share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy Libra. Guidance for Libra for the week ahead, please. Guidance for Libra. Guidance for Libra. This reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest, Libra. We're going to touch on different things during this reading and not everything is going to resonate, and that is okay. You may like to focus on a specific question that you would like answered or to receive guidance on. And you can do that as I'm shuffling and dealing the cards. Guidance for Libra, please. Take notice of the image because you may see something in the image, the picture on the card or the writing on the card. And if it resonates with you, if you see something there that resonates with you, then that's a sign from spirit and a direct message for you. Guidance for Libra, please. Guidance for Libra, your energy Libra and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Answering the call. Wow, this is really powerful. The time is now. The time is now, Libra. Yes, you are going to be rewarded. You are going to get the benefit. You're going to reach your goal. Yes, it is the right time. Yes, it is the right thing. If you have been pondering, wondering about something uh, about that's coming up this week and you've been hesitating, now is the time to make a move. Now is the time to, um, to go through this gate. Now is the time to expand. You may actually be feeling like you're wanting to expand and, and answer the call to your own heart. So that's a really important message, you know, and I feel that for you, Libra, you're going to be brave. You're going to be utilizing these energies in the best way possible for you. And you are going to be stepping through that door. You are going to be opening the door and moving through. And yes, trust that you will be rewarded nicely. You are going to have the benefit. You're going to have the outcome that you desire here. So I feel a very positive energy coming your way to begin the week, the reading and to begin the week. Let's take a look at your next message. Soul satisfaction. Beautiful. When you answer the call to your heart, your soul is going to be satisfied. And that's what this is all about, Libra. And this card says, aim for that which makes your soul rejoice. Yes, aim for that which makes your soul rejoice. Whatever that is for you specifically, you go for that, Libra. You 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 open that door, you move in that direction, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everybody, of course. But yes, you make that move, it's going to be satisfaction for yourself on a soul level and it's going to bring through some new manifestations in your life which will be very, very powerful. Let's take a look at this card. The Pacific Black Duck. We have the energy of letting go. It's necessary, Libra, to let go of the old energy. The energy that's been around you constantly harassing you, you know, whether that's a person or an environment, you know, there's an, an energy around you. You're needing to release, let that energy go so you can move forward, so you can have this beautiful soul satisfaction, so you can look ahead and you know that you're going to be peace and harmony and ease and bring that beautiful energy through into your life. Letting go is important this week. You may also find yourself in a confrontation or um, a disagreement or some tension this week. Spirit is telling me Libra. And if that is the you and you find yourself in this um, energy, let it go. Just drop the topic. Let it go. Walk away. You know, don't let it affect you or ruffle your feathers. This is a romance card Libra. So let's take a look at what is behind this card here. We have the energy of embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Beautiful. You're coming together with open arms. That's what I'm seeing here. If you are single, then this is 
an opening, an opportunity for you to get out there, for you to meet new people, for you to expand, socialize, new social situations or um, environments I'm seeing here for some of you. Embracing the change, embracing a new person into your life if that is what you are after. Now for couples, there's an energy here of um, something being missing in the relationship and you both embracing that or one of you realizing what that missing piece is and moving toward wholeness. I feel a healing energy here for you. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this card. We have the two of cups, partnerships in love and relationships, whether it's romantic or platonic. Um, this is a connection, a reconnection even. This is you and your heart and you following your heart. It's a very powerful energy, the two of cups. You may also be making a decision when it comes to love, when it comes to what you love, whether that's another person or something you're wanting to pursue. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about work. It's about gathering what you have and it's about um, putting a lot of effort in, skill, effort, determination to get where you want to go in a material sense, in a material sense. So financially, work-wise, you know, around the home environment, really practical, take, taking practical steps in a relationship, taking practical steps to move towards soul satisfaction and to recognize what rejoices your soul. I see interests, hobbies, I see dance, I see creativity in this card for you. Expressing yourself in a new way is going to be, or in a creative way, is going to be soul satisfaction for a lot of you. Answering the call to your own creativity, Libra. Very powerful. The Page of Swords. This is a child or youth or someone younger than you taking um, your attention or, or very important for you this week. This is also messages, communication, texts, emails, voice calls, conversations, very important conversations you're going to be having, or you're going to be receiving some bit of information that makes up the whole, that, that puts the pieces together for you in some way. This may also be talking about what you want in your life with others, opening up this type of energy, opening up communication. Um, with others, yes, but also with yourself. This may, you may find that this energy represents your own clear communication, your own clarity of mind. Stepping forward with a new mindset this week. I love it. I love it, Libra. We have the Emperor energy. There may be an Aries around you, Libra. The Emperor energy, of course, is an energy of stability, of rules, regulations, of being in authority in your own life, being very empowered in your own life. You have the reins, you are mo moving in a way, in a, in a direction that you want to move in. Um, others look to you for security, for advice. I'm also seeing for you, Libra, that this is this has been, for some of you, this has been planned. You know, this answering the call, uh, soul satisfaction, it's been a journey and it's been planned. And you've put into place the structures, the stability that you need to follow your dreams or to move toward this person or this, uh, this, this energy. You've put into place some stability there, which, which is going to benefit you moving forward in a safe way, in a secure way. And we have the six of stars, which is the six of wands. Success. Yes. Success in the actions that you take. I love this energy for you, Libra. Success in the actions that you take this week. It's heart related. It's heart centered. So you're following your heart first and foremost. But you're also moving in a way that is um, you're also thinking and doing things in a very practical way and thinking things through and planning and preparing and I see you looking forward, you know, you've got the world in your hands here, you know, this is um, the world is your oyster type of energy. And you know that the effort and energy here from the eight of pentacles that you put into this relationship, work project, whatever it is for you specifically, the energy that you put into it is going to reward you greatly in a material way, first and foremost, emotionally, yes, but also, you know, I'm seeing a very strong Earth element coming through here, so a very strong element of the physical coming through here. So you may be um, looking at building your wealth, building your career, building a home, you know, this type of very strong uh, stability there 
Yes, very powerful, very powerful. Mixed in with letting go. I mean, this is an incredibly powerful read for you this week. I see some amazing energies coming through for you, Libra. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.